Strides, that's the funny thing about Strides that I know you're streaming. I literally hop into a stream just to tell him, like, please. Please. All right, guys, on the list here, we will start off with Aaron versus Sharp. Honestly, this is the first time I've seen these two play in quite some time, uh, especially for MSM Online, but we'll see. I mean, Aaron has been going to Rob. This is not a character I would have thought Aaron would be going for. I also don't know if this is Aaron's actual main or if he's picking Rob to go Rob. Aaron's definitely one of the players I wasn't aware of until like his victory with, uh, with Steve and then also being Diddy too as well. But hey, man, the more characters you have in your toolkit, especially on Wi-Fi, the better. And Sharp having this Joker alongside very, like, 40 other characters to be strong is really good. But that's a really great back end simply because, you know, one of the first options Rob is going to try to do is stall off the stage, specifically with his recovery. So that back end will take care of that as soon as possible. Dash attack for the full tech chase read. And then a down air to complement the, the Z drop on the gyro. What a counter to sensing out, obviously, the most common Rob option is to go for an aerial. What a corner carry, nice. And then I like that he doesn't necessarily go all the way through against Joker. He's gonna wait and then try to get a reaction, especially with where he sets up Gyro at the ledge. And like in that situation, that's good too because your first or your first option is to jump at a ledge to avoid the Gyro altogether, and then Robo Arms would have covered that jump. But man, Sharp is no slouch. All right, Aaron, 108, Sharp, still with a lot of stage control here. Gonna go for Rebel's Guard, just to sense that there might be a lot of damage being out there in play. It would have been a great read, but good for Aaron to also understand the best way to get around Rebel's Guard is honestly just grab. You don't want to give him any of the meter as much as possible. Although meter is literally about to go down right about now. Our Persona has now been activated. His Sharp here with all the backers, in the, like well, at least one backer now, but all the backers in the world, they're going to be sent out. What a good tech chase read coming out from Aaron. Like, I'm definitely sensing that Sharp doesn't want to get teched across the stage. So, essentially, Aaron read that preemptively. This is down tilt? Yeah. Our sun's now gone. This leaves Sharp here at 150 against Aaron. He definitely take out the stock. Safe forward tilt. And this might be a take aim. Looking to stop the recover. Great play. This might be looking for a setup with back air. Maybe a ledge jump here, but that's still good for Sharp just to not let go of the ledge as much as possible. Yeah, double roll here to came, came back center stage. And then the back here at that high percent definitely will take the stock. That's going to be a berry. Can he mash out? Up air? Nice. Great air dodge, too. You can see that Chapel's kind of preemptively ready for that. That's a lot of pressure from Aaron. Like, he down tilted the gyro so that it could hit Sharp. And then that would force Sharp on the re grab, giving Aaron the down air. And then just that was just good for Aaron to have that setup and the pressure and the read on Sharp. That, that situation as a whole is very smart for Marin. Using Gyro that way. Corner carry. Man, this man is taking him across the stage. Laser. That forces Sharp to jump. But unfortunately, he still has a great recovery even with the directional end lag. Sorry, directional air dodge end lag. It does feel like directional air lag sometimes. Down tilt. Up smash. No play. Sorry, down here. Excuse the vocabulary here, but that will be a down throw to bar back air sharp with a lot of setup here. Potential to go all the way low, and he will with double back air. Once again, try it on the read, but he ran out of R10. The tether recovery will come into play. Narrowly spacing around the up air to avoid the up smash punish coming out from Aaron. Aaron taking the stage. I like that he tries the up smash just because it does have a starting hitbox from the bottom, but that will also call out sharp from going for a back air, which is the common option from Joker at that at this percent. Go for a landing aerial or a back out of the shield. You guys are playing already? Yep. But not like them specifically playing each other already. I just didn't know that the match already started. Anyway. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Welcome, Strides. Uh, this is kind of rough. It, they both have the kill win condition at this point. But at this 
situation, it's really scary for Rob just because of Sharp almost having Arsene. So I really think Aaron needs to make the next play he does, the kill play. Especially now that he's at the ledge versus Arsene. Oh. Yeah. It, it's either do or die at this situation here at this hypersand, but the way that Aaron has been playing with setups on Rob, man, there are some crazy things that I've been seeing. So, well, one crazy thing I would say. Okay. But Aaron definitely Oops, knows how to cover these options. Wow. Okay. That's Jara forced the, the ledge. I'm surprised that he didn't just let, keep the gyro at the ledge to, you know, limit a lot of options, but he has to be up throw here. No platform needed. Aaron? Taking game one with the Rob? Okay, that's really good. Really good win for him so far. Because I actually think Sharp is amazing at this matchup with uh, pretty much any character he plays. Yeah. Honestly. Stride sounds out of it. No, you don't know me very well if you think I sound out of it. Literally my default voice, unfortunately. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think Aaron is doing all Rob today. No, uh, no Diddy Kong. No okay, that, what. that's that's what I wanted so, to know. But this is a secondary. But uh, he said he's really wanting to main Rob. At least that's what he said today on his stream. I I don't know how serious to take uh, Aaron's comments. He is a pretty much <laughs> troll most of the time. But his, his say... Rob is very very good, and uh, it makes sense honestly, because Rob's a very strong character and. Also, is a really good secondary with Diddy Kong. He covers a lot of matchups, I think. Yeah, we kind of saw that a little bit in Ape -in Man. Yeah, same thing. Ape Man has the same, uh, the same roster with Rob Diddy, just like reversed, as in Diddy secondary, Rob main. But I saw Sharp went random. I I'm not really surprised. I've seen Sharp go random, like entire brackets. I don't know if that's what he's doing today. Usually at MSM, if he's not like super, super, super trying to win, like he does do like that random character run and yeah. usually goes really far with it. So I've seen a lot of uh, Sharp's normal Samus actually, not necessarily his dark Samus, but there aren't that many differences between the two. So honestly, we'll it doesn't too. necessarily feel like an Echo Fighter. This feels more of like an alternate skin for Samus. Yeah, so the funny thing about Samus's and Dark Samus's trip animation, um, once they bounce from the trip, they like bounce like a lot of times compared to normal characters. So it's kind of awkward to get your normal timing on your like trip confirms. Like you saw it when he got the down tilt from Rob and it tripped Dark Samus, but he couldn't follow up immediately because of the bounce animation. Right, right, right. I don't know. Like... This is the thing you gotta be used to when you're fighting them. And I know that like Dark Samus has like apparently the better role of the two, just because there's like the two frames of like invincibility as compared to regular Samus. How oh, what a great dash attack from immediately after the bomb. I, I mean I know, I know Sharp is just going random, but like yeah, him already maining Samus is like more than half of the work because they are basically just alternate skins. What a nice great parry! Scary. Immediately into forward tilt too. Yeah, this matchup actually is interesting because Ross is huge, so he's going to eat a lot of these Samus hitboxes pretty easily. But it's kind of like the same thing as Samus. Like, she's like really big size and decent weight for Rob combos as well. So he can definitely get a lot off on Samus. Also has a great projectile of his own, so he doesn't have to worry about getting super, super zoned out the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's looking for that up throw at this point? Oh, what a good way to just try to ch like fight Aaron as well, but also get away with up air. Is there here? N neutralizing immediately stuff up the, the jump from the ledge. The crazy thing about Aaron's Rob is like he's been very strong and setup heavy with this character. Like he's been using gyro to force double jumps or to force like the ledge re grab and then read the read a lot of options. It's kind of complements like the way he plays Diddy as well. And like you said, like meaning. Maining those two covers a lot of matchups. If anything, they're two great characters that complement each other. Yeah, most Diddy Kong players can use Rob, and Rob players can use Diddy vice versa because of the item play. It's not like a super unfamiliar thing, especially if you're using Z Drop aerials a lot as Diddy Kong already. It's like very similar with Rob. Just getting comfortable using Z Drops. 
Right now, though, Sharp looking very strong in this matchup. Nice catch on the landing. If anything, oh, yeah, just nice. keep him in the air is really good to force him to burn all of his fuel. Yeah. Oh, that's... nice back air from Aaron. He actually ah, got that hitbox okay. out and he got to uh, regain a little bit of fuel too. That was really smart from Aaron. Because otherwise he would have ran out of gas and possibly died. Now he has an opportunity to get the kill here. Oh, caught him jumping though. Nice fair from uh, Sharp. I don't know if he caught off the jump or not, but it was a good play overall. Nice use of that gyro to get that combo, man. That's so much percent. Could have been more, but still, it's, I like the idea behind it. Knowing that once he grabs the gyro, he can still charge his uh, charge shot at the same time. Like being able to charge a projectile while also making it so Rob can't use his top. It's a really good strategy. Yeah. Okay. Down B here? Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah. He didn't get the sweet spot, but it was still really good punish. And he will, yeah. Open. The charge basically waited out the invincibility. Sharp with a lot of stage control here. 128 here on Aaron. At this point, he gets one read at the ledge. It's going to be game. And that's a good up to stop Aaron from getting anything aggressive. And Whoa. wow, he chased this man all the way to the bottom of the stage. Aaron had nowhere left to go but just lose the stock there. And that's going to be Sharp moving up 1 1. Crazy stuff happening towards that end. I'm not sure what happened there, honestly. I don't I feel know like if he, he, I uh... feel like he wanted to wait for, like, that last second opportunity for him to go for, for like, up B. And then, but also collectively, like, trying to force if Sharp was going to go for an aerial. You know, like, at those situations were like, cool, Sharp can try to hit me. But if he hits me, I have my up B and I'll survive. And Sharp will lose the stock. And then sometimes, maybe, maybe he just, you know, misinput it. Maybe it could have been a different error. But nonetheless... We do see Sharp here with the first point. With this, finally his first point on the board, and then game three happening between these two and losers quarters. Hmm. Well, it's just a uh, interesting set because Aaron is using Rob no matter what, and Sharp's just going to pick random. So no matter what happens, Aaron's not going to change his character anyway. And it's like he could change character to counter pick Sharp to begin with because he's just playing random. Right, right, right. The one thing about <laughs> the one thing about Sharp is I would never have seen him going crazy ever. Th this does not look like a Sharp character at all. But I could be wrong, man. He mains like every character. Well, this is one of the more difficult characters uh, to uh, have a pocket of, in my opinion. Peach slash Daisy. Yeah, this is not a character you pocket. I feel like this is a character you mean for sure. Yeah. So we'll see just how much uh, Peach things. <laughs> Sharp is familiar with doing. But Otherwise, also, uh, this could be pretty hard for him. Yeah, and I also like the fact that like Sharp has gotten two Echo Fighters so far. Yeah. And like the two Echo Fighters that aren't like extremely different from exactly they're their just normal, you know. they're more or less alternate skins. I think the only Echo Fighter that's truly different is Ken. I think uh, is it. Krom Echo Fighter? Krom, yeah, sure. I think I think Krom and Ken are like the two winners of Echo Fighters, but that's a great punish Ooh. after the forward air from Aaron, because yeah, that up smash has such a big like hitbox, and also having a, a hitbox standing at the bottom as well. Yeah. Really good start for Aaron. Honestly, he just seems he doesn't seem scared of Daisy at all. Like this he's just having a much easier time approaching Daisy than he did uh, Samus. He's just getting in way more often. Getting much more damage. Nice, caught the tech chase there. He's gonna go for the up throw. It's a good percent. See if he can catch the landing. He does. Uh, Peach and Daisy's landing is not very good at all. No, oh, another up smash out of shield. Yeah, Aaron's not playing around with this Daisy at all. Nice, gyro combos here. Just a zero to 53. Trying to cheese him out very early with the robot spinny arms. Arm rotor as some people call it. I don't blame him. I mean, that side B hit would have been a really good uh, position for him off stage. I don't know, Aaron. Oh, miss input on that. He's barely living. But uh, yeah, Aaron potentially working on a three stock here. Sharp's gonna have to do a lot of work. But that might be a tall task. Like easier said than done at this point, just because of the character he's using. Very difficult, <laughs> and it's like usually. But finally gets the dash attack to kill. It's gonna need a lot. He needs, he needs some actual peach main stuff. 
All right. Barely Kinda. starting it there. Yeah, I like how you called it out, Stray. It's like he needs the Peach Main stuff, but it's coming out maybe a little too late, but he's finally Wait. able to get that Forest Smash. Okay. If he gets the kill here. Yo, oh, yes. Sharp. Forced him to use all of his... Dang, he still got to grab the ledge there. If he actually just forced him to use all of his spill while he had no chance to grab the ledge, it would have worked out. Now he's got to deal with Rob with stage control. And a gyro. Oh, smash. Barely floating away from the up air. So far, Charles didn't have a lot of uh, reward from these turnips up the ledge. Unfortunately, he's not leading to the kill. <sighs> nice. Sidey coming at the nick of time. Uh, a lot of things can kill Sharp at this point. It's really scary fighting Rob at this position because he actually, honestly just needs to force you and shield just long enough for this. Yeah, even without getting the platform, it's still going to kill that percent. <laughs> yeah, and then, like I said, I think this was definitely the worst character. Like, Sharp could have definitely pulled out of the random hat, but then that'll be much to Aaron's like victory here. 2 1 set point. Sharp did really good with Dark Samus, but like the hardest part is like you're on a character that I don't feel that is a sharp character. Yeah, I don't know what a sharp character is. I feel like anything like Sheik random. Greninja. Like I think characters with good speed and neutral. Like I I don't know. I I honestly feel like it's like a it's like a matter of like Sheik Greninja Joker. Like those 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 spell out like sharp characters. I see. Maybe maybe something like Roy, Wolf, Lucina, Z. I definitely see ZSS and Sharp Soul. This this definitely smells like yeah. Oh, okay, was this still a random pick or did he? Oh, yeah, just definitely to... random pick. Oh, so he just happened to get zero suit. That's good yeah. for him. I definitely see this as a sharp character for sure. Well, this is his actual like main that he plays. That's what I'm saying, man. Compared to like Daisy, Daisy is no sharp character. I'm sorry. Let's see how this goes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't say much about how this matchup is supposed to go. Like, I can just take like, the basic things that Rob shows in every, like, kind of somewhat combo-heavy character or, like, with decently large hitboxes. Like, he's so huge that he's going to get combo pretty heavily. But, yeah, outside of that, like, no. I can't really think of Rob's other weaknesses in a, against a character like this. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, and it's Sharp playing a character that he's a little bit more well-practiced in versus, you know, Rob, which is a very common character, especially in these online tournaments. I, it, I just see how much more comfortable Sharp is with the Zero C right now. Yeah, and it just goes oh, to show, like, his level of comfortability and just the ways that you can punish Aaron there off the stage. Like, he honestly drew the best. It's funny how oh. he drew like Dark Samus and then Zero Suit Samus as two characters all together, but yeah, also just drawing his main out of the random hat is really, really strong. And it goes to show like the difference between him being Daisy and him being Zero Suit Samus. Yes. Still though, he gave Aaron that up smash out of shield. Didn't really get to build on his lead at all, really. So we're pretty much looking at an even game. Yeah. Oh. The gyro assist as well, gonna go for some down throw setups. Yeah, a little bit risky to go for a down throw setup so early because most people can just mash out and then you have to go for like another read on their mash out too. Yeah. But Aaron has no trouble doing that because he's just racking up all the safe percent here. Honestly, uh, man, the, the aggressive plays from Aaron, man, he's making it so that Zerosu can't really space Nair on his shield or really do much of keeping him out. Even when Sharp is in a set of juggle situations, Aaron's avoiding it and then swinging back almost immediately. So this is already really good for him. Oh my goodness, DI straight up on that up air. Making Aaron's life much easier than he should is going to be a big hit here. Honestly, any position where he gets sniped out of his double jump from an air is very scary at the ledge because he can just go for the arm rotor and he'll kill very really early. Yeah, and that's uh, the last thing you want for the kill. Aaron sensing. Sharp's frustration, I think. He's just racking up all this percent, just punishing Sharp over and over right now. 
And that's okay. what you don't want at Sharp. Like, you don't want to take that unnecessary damage, but unfortunately, Sharp is taking a lot of it. And Aaron has such a, still a stock lead. Oh, what a good call yep, to punish yep, the neutral yep, air. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's interesting fair hitbox. Okay. Watch out for, yeah, I was going to say, Sharp has to watch platform. out for, like, afterwards. But he'll be fine. At this point here, it's all a matter of, like, yeah, he has to avoid all the unnecessary damage. He has to be careful how high he is up against a character like Rob, especially with up air. But unfortunately, like, landing around that laser, good use of Zare stopping the gyro and then giving him back the stage. But this, I feel like this is just two big ZSS combos away from, like, a comeback for Sharp. The question is, like, how does he go about it, right? Well, we're trying to avoid as much as he can from Aaron. Yeah. Oh, is he just left the platform? Smash. Dang, those three up smash kills in game four there from Aaron. All of them looking very, very well placed. Great stuff to Aaron with the Rob, man. Yeah. Even when Sharp got a character he's like super familiar with in a matchup that he's played quite a few times now, a Rob, Aaron's Rob, still finding the clutch. And uh, yeah, I guess Sharp's out of the tournament now, so Aaron's going to move on.